future will be allowed one twenty words every day to say and need to get through all our routine exchange with an eye on work count. Hey guys, welcome to the Woolen Homestead. This is a video podcast about knitting, spinning, and hand dyeing yarn. My name is Tiffany and I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan. You can find me on various social media as The Woolen Homestead, as well as the yarn that my husband and I dye at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. You'll also find links below in the description box to all the places that you can find us. Hello everyone and welcome back if you are a returning viewer and hello if you are a new viewer. It's so great to have you here. It is April 30th, a Monday, in 2018 and yeah, this is episode 58. I'll start off with what I'm wearing. This is my Find Your Fade shawl by Andrea Maori, and I knit this using a bunch of different yarns. Um, the first one, this white, is our hand dyed yarn. This is um, Baby It's Cold Outside, so it's just this white with little bits of blue speckle in it. And then this next blue is also our yarn. This is Blueberry Crumb Cake. And then, let's see the next color. This is the next color. Right here, this is Knox Yarn Company in the Reverie colorway. It's got the, the sparkle to it, I love it. This is um, Lou Cookie Yarns, and this is the Don't Put Your Wand There colorway. And then this purple and pink, this is also our yarn. This is um, County Fair Sunset. And then this color right here is um, Nax Yarn Company, and I am totally forgetting the colorway at this moment. But I know it was a labyrinth themed colorway, and I cannot remember the name of this to save my life right now. Um, but that's Nax Yarn Co. And then this is also our yarn, this pink right here. This is Cherry Blossom, which we have not had in the shop in forever, and I think we need to bring it back for summer. I really like this one. So, yeah. That is what I'm wearing. And you know what? I'll just I'll just go into this right now. Um, I was gonna say this for events, but speaking of Andrea Maori, I just found out, um, let's see, was it this week? I think I found out this week that Andrea Maori is gonna be at Spun Ann Arbor, the yarn shop there, and she's doing a class, which the class has sold out, but she's also doing a meet and greet. My friend Jen told me, so thank you, Jen, <laughs> for letting me know about this. Um Otherwise, I don't think I would have ever even noticed, but um, she is going to be doing a meet and greet there, and it's Saturday, May 12th. So originally, Jenna asked me if I wanted to go, and I was like, oh, no, I can't. I've got, because we do our schedule eight weeks in advance, and it's only a couple weeks away. And um, so, and we've been doing a lot of rebooking at, at PetSmart, so like all of my Saturdays, especially Saturdays, Saturdays are always really busy for me, and I've been rebooking my, my clients out, and... I was like, oh, I can't, I have dogs. And then I checked my schedule because I thought I had looked at the 12 and I hadn't. And I checked it and I didn't have any dogs. <laughs> I was like, this is a sign. <laughs> so I talked to my boss and she was like, yeah, you can have it off. So I'm so excited. So I'm going to meet Andrew Mowry as long as there's no ice storms, as long as our cars stay intact. I was almost like nervous to, to even say anything out loud about it <laughs> because I feel like every time I'm like, yeah, we're doing this, something like happens. So, or we'll get sick or something. So <laughs> fingers crossed that nothing bad happens, but God willing, we will be there May 12th. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. So um, Ethan and I are going down there. We're going to get a hotel and I'm just really excited. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So Jen, thank you again. And Jen might possibly be there. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to, to see you guys. So um, let's see. So yeah, that was events. I'm just going <laughs> to skip right ahead to events. But before that, we're going to talk about group news. Um, we have a Ravelry group and you can find it by searching the Woolen Homestead in the groups tab on Ravelry. There you will find the knit along threads. Um, I do usually post an episode thread. I don't think I posted one last week, but usually I'll post those there. And then um, four knit alongs that we've got going on, we have two right now. Um, we have the Basket of Mittens Cal, which is a year long knit along. And you can also crochet mittens too, by the way. Um, but I just call it a knit along. But yeah, you can totally crochet 
Um, and that is co-hosted with my friend Carrie, who is my Will Mitten on Instagram and on Ravelry. And it is um, basically you just knit mittens throughout the year. There's no uh, minimum requirement. You just knit mittens and post them in the FO thread, and that's where we draw prizes from. So, um, yeah. I'm super excited. It's so much fun seeing all of the, the finished objects in there. You guys are knitting amazing mittens and I just keep adding them to my queue. Like I, oh, I love it. I've really got the color work bug again and I'm just loving it. Um, so if you want to participate, um, if you want to like share your projects on Instagram and you want to participate there, um, we have the hashtag basket of mittens Cal 2018. So go ahead and use that hashtag. And then our other knit along is the Summer Socktacular Cal. So thank you, Deb, for putting that, your recommendation for that name. I just, last week I had said, well, I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> and so I just was calling it Sock Cal. And then I was going to call it Sock Mojo. And then I just didn't, I just didn't really know what to call it. And so she had um, commented with a, with a suggestion. So I was like, love it. Let's do it. So it is the Summer Socktacular Cal. And if you want to share your projects on Instagram, you can use the hashtag TWH Summer Sectacular 2018. And yeah, so basically we're just knitting socks. You can use works in progress as well for the mitten knit along as well. You can use works in progress and um, we're just going to knit socks. Um, I still haven't picked an ending date. I will pick one eventually, but it's going to be for a couple of months. Don't worry. <laughs> You've got plenty of time. And um, but yeah, we're just knit socks, post them in the finished objects thread. And um, oh, if you use the Woolen Homestead yarn, you have the uh, eligibility to post twice. So basically what you'll do is you'll go to the FO thread, post your picture in one comment, and then post your picture again in another separate comment. Um, if you want to do them both at the same time, you can, or if you want to post it at a different time for your second entry, you can do that too. But just know that you're you're allowed to do that. So yeah, so you have more chances of winning that way. And, and the more socks you knit, the more chances you have of winning. So yeah, so that is it for knit alongs. Um, let's see, we'll go on to works in progress. Um, I have been working on my Speckle and Pop Shawl by Stephen West. And it is living in my fringe field bag, which this is from Fringe Supply Company. It's a nice canvas with a nice leather handle. And it just, this bag has really just really worn in and I love it so much so much so this is gonna be really hard to show because I'm in the start of a row but I finished section two so section two is this like short row shaping we've got over here and yeah this is what it looks like I love it so much and so it just goes all the way across the shawl and so you can see how it gets smaller and smaller. And now I'm at section three and I've just done the first little bit of it. So you can pull my needle through so you can see. So this is the little teeny bit of section three that I have. And so it just makes these tiny little triangles. But if you've seen the finished object, then you can kind of see it there. It's just this little triangles. And um, it's really, really cool. I'm really liking this. I'm super like gung ho about working on this and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it right now. So this is all out of the Woolen Homestead yarn as well. I dyed this yarn last year, um, in the fall to, to do this knit along. And, um, cause this was a mystery knit along last, uh, September, October, somewhere in there. And, um, yeah, I could not keep up to save my life, but super fun. I, I can't like, I remember last year I was like, I am not doing this again. I don't think mystery knit alongs are for me, which they might not be, but I'm still kind of considering doing it again. Cause he does them every year. And, um, it's just really neat. I don't know. It's fun. Even if I can't keep up, it's fun. So this is the purple is, um, Nebula. This pink is back to the fuchsia. And then this, um, mint is happy little narwhal. So we do have Happy Little Narwhal in the shop. The other two we do not currently have in the shop. But I'll show you what they look like in the skein. Or in the cake at least. So this is Happy Little Narwhal. And that's the one that we do have available in the shop. So yeah, really, really loving this a lot. Really like just enjoying seeing how 
section three is coming to life. It's just really, really neat to like, it's just a bunch of like shirt row shaping in this tiny little amount and it just makes these, this really cool design. So yes, really enjoying that. Um, let's see. Other project that I've been working on this week is living in my little bobbin sock bag. And these are my hand spun socks. This week I tried to give this gray sock some attention. And yeah, so it's got the pink for the toe and then the gray up here. And this one has the gray for the toe and pink for the foot. So yeah, these are super, super fun. So um, if you are new to the podcast, I did like a little spinning ser video series, which you can find here on the channel. Um, I made a playlist for it, I believe, but um, otherwise they should be, they should be right pretty close in the lineup. But um, it just kind of took you through like how I spun the, these, um, these sock yarns and what I did. And yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of neat how these are working up. I'm really, really happy with it. I was really nervous about using hundred percent Merino for a sock yarn. So I can't wait to like report back on how they wear. I think that's going to be super cool. And I'm going to um, document that on the video as well. So you guys can, can see, cause I also like earlier this week, I was trying to look up more on like, you know, what constitutes a good sock yarn and do you have to have nylon and things like that. So I don't know. I'm really curious. I'm, I'm just like getting the tip of the iceberg with that stuff. But if you guys have any thoughts on it, I would love, please leave some comments. Um, either on YouTube or um, I'll put an episode thread in the Ravelry group if you're going to be on Ravelry, but either place, I would really, really be interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. Um, Cause I just think it's really fascinating. Like how, you know, way back when, how did they make their socks and things like that? So, or did they just wear out easier? You know, I'm just really, really curious. So um, these are the two yarns that I spun. And the fiber is from Fox and Flower, which I could not find her Etsy shop anymore. So bummed about that, but um, that's where it's from. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really enjoying these. So I can't wait to tell you guys more about how they wear. Oh, and how I spun it um, was I did a three ply, like a chain ply for it was how I did it. So, and you can see more about that on those videos if you're interested in that. So my next project <laughs> is living in my home bag from Tracy of Specialty Sewing. And I'm laughing because my bag won't close because <laughs> I've got it just stuffed to the brim. But this is my mittens that Carrie designed. So Carrie, who is the co-host of the Mitten Knit Along, designed the share cup mittens and this is a free pattern and it is on her blog. So I'll have the blog linked in the show notes, which the show notes are um, in the description box below. If you want to look at anything that I've talked about on this podcast. Um, so I'll have a link down there for her, her mittens, but yeah, aren't these just the coolest thing ever? I love them. So she just has this cute little rolled cuff and then you do this little itty bitty bit of color work. You do an afterthought thumb, and yeah, I just, I love it. So, and also this marker, how cute is this marker? This is from Sugar Tots in um, uh, Canada. And it's just this little, little team progress keeper. I just thought this would be so perfect for, for these cups. So yeah, I'm really, really loving that. The yarn that I'm using is Lamb's Pride Worsted. And it is a... 85% wool, 15% mohair, and it is just the coolest thing. It's a single ply, and I'm just, I'm really enjoying that. And let's see, the other colors are this white. This is Patton's Worsted, and then this is also Patton's Worsted, the, the brown. So, yeah, really, really enjoying those. So I can't wait to, to have these done. I just, I love them. I really, I really like this, like, color palette for these. I, don't know, I just think these are so, so cute. So if you're wanting to give mittens a try, she does have a fingering weight version as well. So she has a worsted weight version and a fingering weight version. But like I said, the pattern's free and she, the way she wrote the pattern is really cool. It's just like as if she was sitting down to talk with you and showing you 
how to knit these mittens as if she was right there with you. So it's really fun, super easy to follow. I keep meaning to post pictures. Um, I don't know if I've got them on my phone, but my mom actually finished two pairs of these. And so if I can get a picture from her, I'll post those on here. But um, yeah, super cute. So, and yeah, I just love it. So for my last work in progress, I'm going to show you how far I've gotten on my Vilmark Skenserin. So, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So this is a pattern by Linka Caroline Newman, and it is knit out of Alifos Lopi, which is the, um, the bulky weight, and oh my gosh, I love it so much. So it's got this rusty orange, and then there's this beige color and black. And then you just knit up, and then in the yoke, um, there is paw prints, and it's just so cute. I love it. It's perfect for me. I'm a dog groomer, and I just love it. So I'm a dog crazy person, so I just, it makes me happy. <laughs> so this is the orange, and I don't have the other colors with me because I'm just working straight on the body right now. But I'll show you where I was at last time. So where my little stitch marker is, that's where I was at last time, and I barely worked on this thing. Like, this is probably, like, gosh, maybe a couple hours, that's it. Like, not even. Because I took it when I went to my grandma's, and while we were all just kind of sitting and chatting a little bit, I worked on it, and then I worked on, like, a couple rows last night, and that's pretty much all I've done, but it just flies. So, yeah, I love that. And then, this is also going to segue fantastically into uh, acquisitions. <gasps> ah, I got my field bag. <laughs> so this is um, from French Supply Company. This is the field bag and this is the toffee bag. So I want to show you guys, this is even like broken in even more just slightly than since when it came. But um, I just want to show you the difference in how these bags break down. Like break down in a good way, like break in is the word I was looking for. <laughs> mean phrases. I mean, I just, I can't get them right to save my life. But, um, so this is my, my other one. This is the first one I got. And I got this, oh gosh, a year and a half ago, I think. And yeah, so it just singes really nicely. This, um, this is nice and just moldable. It's just very easy to just move around, I feel. And so the, the strap just, super easy to work with this it's a little it's a little more tight it's not too bad now that I've used it a little bit but um like when I first was trying to break it in the kit was just not having it but look at this strap like it's nice and bright like isn't that crazy so it's really cool how these break in and this isn't nearly as um, like big and it's just, yeah, it's really cool. So I love this color. I'm so happy. These were out of stock for a long time. Like, gosh, I don't even know how long, maybe like a year or so. And it was like really hard to get. You could just only get it if somebody had like back stock of it. And then they, they brought it back. So once I just happened to be on their website and it was there, so I just bought it. And then I went on their Instagram and saw that they just released it like that day. So I was very lucky but yeah I love these bags they're wonderful it's so just so amazing how they break in they're just so sturdy wonderful bags cannot recommend them highly enough love them so that is my my field bag that I got and then um, I got a couple of things from my aunt um, as like an early birthday present because um, like I said me and my aunt and my mom and my grandma all met up at my grandma's house and so they gave me some, um, they gave me some things for my birthday. This is the bag that my aunt had made for me, um, with all my gifts in it. So she just took a regular grocery bag and she took this picture of this yarn that was, um, it was from the calendar and she just like taped it on there and I just thought that was so cute. And then she tied it, she like hole punched it and tied it through here with a little bit of twine. Oh my gosh. So cute. So I loved that. She gave me quite a few things. It's awesome. Um, so first of all, this bag. Super excited about. It's just this really nice 
canvasy bag and let's see it says on here never okay it is never too late to be what you might have been yeah I just oh I love it it's really like long and I just love it so it's gonna make a great project bag and then she also gave me this little bag which I'm gonna use as a notions bag but it totally goes with it and it says the same exact thing on here oh, but I totally need a notions pouch so I love it love it and then she also gave me a bunch of books and some like little patterns she gave me this book on red work because I had started doing my own which I have not been working on I need to really bad but um I started at the beginning of the year working on those and so she gave me some of those and yeah just a bunch of patterns and things but yeah I'm really really excited about those bags and then she gave me this candle oh my gosh so perfect so first of all this is what it looks like And it says, she seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands. And it's Proverbs 31, 13. And I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. Um, so it's painted. Oh my gosh, the, the candle smells like cinnamon. And it's just, it's fall. It's fall and Christmas. I love it. And I just think it's so beautiful. And I don't want to burn it. I just love it so much. So yeah, I love this thing so much and it just made me so happy and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. She said that I think last fall she was in Shepherd, Michigan and they were at like this cute little general store and she saw that and she was like, I have to get that for Tiffy. So I thought that was cute. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, those are some of the things that my, my aunt had given me and my grandma. Actually, I don't know if I showed anything from my grandma. She, she gave me like a cute little cookbook and then there's like these cute little tea towels in there. Just some really cute things. So and that was fun. Next, we're going to go into shop news. So we will have a shop update this Friday, May 4th, 2018. And the shop is found at www.thewallenhomestead.etsy.com. And yeah, we should have more mitten kits. We have one left right now. Um, I don't have the white skein with me, but it's basically, it's basically this and then another white mini skein of the same size. And so that is for the songbird mittens. And this is the Marvelous colorway. And this is the, the only one kit, kit that we have currently in stock at the moment. But for this Friday, we will have, um, this is vintage blue jeans. That kit will be there. Fern and Magnolia. And yes, so that's what will be there this Friday. And like I said, there's still, there's one of the Marvelous left right now. Like I said, that's for the Songbird Mittens by Erica Heuser. You do receive a 20% off coupon code with the kit when you purchase it um, to get the, the pattern on a Ravelry. So and that uh, coupon code's good till the end of the year too. So you're all good there. Um, and then I guess I will show you guys what is currently in the shop. We had a really, really big update this Friday. So I've got lots of things to show you. So first of all, how fun is this? <laughs> I love all these colors. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So these are some leftovers from the kits that we had and we decided to make a mini skein set. So this is the mini skein set that we currently have. Um, it's six skeins. And they're all 20 grams and about um, 80 yards. And yeah, you can do color work with them. You can do them um, for mini skein, um, like blankets and things like that, like scrap blankets. But yeah, these are all of the colors. And yeah, I just, oh, uh, how fun is that? I just think this in a color work something would just be fun, like a cowl or a hat or something. Or even like scrappy socks, scrappy mittens super fun so that is available in the shop right now um i'm also going to show you guys what dk skeins we have so we're getting a nice range of dk going right now so we've got northern pine and so it's just this nice tonal green on dk and then we've got 
Go Pat Go, which is a one of a kind version. And so it's just got yellow with these dark green speckles. And then, which I think these would even look good together. And then we've got um, blueberry crumb cake. So it's blue with lots of yellow and purples all throughout. We've got Lovebird. I love this colorway so much. So it's pale pinks and purples. Oh, I love this a lot. So yeah, this is, um, like I said, this is Lovebird on DK, which is a super wash Polworth DK. We've got Nifredora Tonks on DK. So it is uh, pinks and greens and blues and purples and yellow, just all sorts of fun, fun colors. We've also got Happy Little Narwhal. So it's mint with pinks and blues and yellows and browns all throughout. And then Hagrid's Happy Hour on DK. And so this is just like a very like neutral skein and then it's got greens and like reds and yellows throughout so we have this colorway um Hagrid's Happy Hour is also on our sturdy sack base which is right here so we have that on DK and on um on Polworth DK or I'm sorry we have it on DK and we also have it on sturdy sack and then Happy Little Narwhal is also on Sturdy Sack. Lovebird is also on our Sturdy Sack base. Nymphadora Tonks is also on our um, Sturdy Sack base as well. So we've also got Tranquil Blue, which is a nice tonal blue. This is on Sturdy Sack. Actually, all of these going forward are on our Sturdy Sack base, which is a Superwash Merino 7525 base. And the 25 is nylon. <laughs> Sorry, I just always refer to it as a 75-25. But yes, it's Superwash, Merino, and nylon. Um, so this is Solstice Twilight, which is very light purples and yellows, which this is the colorway that I, I knit a pair of socks out of this, and I also knit my square um, that I sent off to Amy of Noble Character Crafts. So, because that's going to be at the... It's the Afghan collaboration for... Um, the Indie Untangled Trunk Show. So this is Cosmopolitan. Oh, these might have to be a pair of summer socks. I'm really feeling that. What do you guys think? Because we've also got a Caribbean Escape, which I think would also be a super, super fun um, pair of summer socks. Or should I brioche them? <gasps> oh, wouldn't that be fun? Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know what to do. I have way too many projects that I want to do. Like, way, 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 way too many. It's insane. Like, I want to do all the color work. I want to do all the sweaters. I want to do all the socks. Like, I want to do all the spinning. <laughs> oh, how do I have any time for any of this? I don't know. But we also have, um, let's see, Marvelous. <laughs> this is Marvelous. <laughs> And um, so this is just a mauve, and I I love it. This is I'm knitting a sweater out of this colorway, and um, it's just it's super super fun. So I'm loving that. We've got um, Earl Grey, and so that's um, a nice gray base with flecks of purple and green, and kind of like yellowy bits in there. We've got Dragon Egg. So Dragon Egg is a nice green base with bits of orange. I just really, really like this a lot. A lot, a lot. We've got Cotton Candy. Some nice pastels. Pinks and purples and blues. We've got um, Professor Sprout, which is a nice light, light mint green. And um, almost like a seafoam green. And then it's got bits of like blue and purple throughout. Those tiny, tiny little speckles. We've also got Tiny Dancer. That is newly back in stock. And that is um, a white base with purples and pinks throughout, but mostly purples, to be honest. It's very, very purpley. I really want to do a swag with these two colorways. Um, this is our Stormy Night colorway over here. 
but I just think this is the body and this as the um, the lace section would just be so much fun so that's a really really high contender for me I really really like those together a lot <laughs> um, let's see another color we've got is forage so it's got um, just mostly white with bits of green and purple throughout we've got Odyssey which is um, mostly like a variegated blue with some purples in it very very pretty someone um, on Instagram is knitting up a hat in this and so cool so cool I love seeing that um, and we've also got this nice tonal blue um, this is um, vintage blue jeans this is very very similar to um, the colorway that I knit my Madewell cardigan out of like I actually I think these would end up identical I Ethan dyed this and I just had used like a little bit of a different technique when I did it but it was when I was very very it was the probably the second skein of yarn I ever dyed I think I think it was and so I wasn't really knowing how I wanted to do my dyeing technique and so if I were to go back and redye it I would have dyed it like this so you could you could safely say that the colorway that I knit um, my made well out of would be this colorway <laughs> so yeah this is vintage blue jeans and then last but not least we've got barnwood so uh, super variegated with um, greens and blues and reds and purples and kind of some browns in there too yeah that is what is in the shop so like I said a very nicely stocked shop right now super super nice and just full of lots of fun different colors lots of different kits which is really fun we love having the kits um it's just so much fun I kind of am looking to um knit something else where we could kit something like like another pair of color work mittens and things I'm, like I said I'm really on the color work kick right now but I'm just on a kick of everything it seems like so <laughs> yeah but I guess we'll go on to life news then the last segment and yeah so like I said I went to my grandma's last week um, on Tuesday and saw my mom and my aunt and we had just like a frozen pizza and some snacks and like, my mom and my aunt brought um, like some some desserts and stuff and it was just it was really really nice I love getting together with them it was just a lot of fun so we did that and then I wrote down I forgot to mention last episode that the week before last um, Caitlin from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns and I hung out. So I totally forgot to mention that in my life news stuff last week. And I was just thinking that the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, totally forgot to mention that. So her and I hung out at The Lock, which is a local coffee shop. It's super cute. I've taken some, um, footage in there before. There's two of them that her and I usually go to, but The Lock, we kind of like The Lock better, I feel like. It just depends on the day when you go to the other one, but The Lock is just very, very cozy it's really nice but every once in a while that one can be busy too but when we've gone it's generally been nice um and pretty quiet but i had oh i don't remember exactly what it was called but it was like a lavender latte it was so good like oh my gosh i kept like the whole time here and i were hanging out i kept being like this is so good <laughs> so oh, i loved it it was so yummy so Yes, Caitlin and I hung out then, um, and she's from Mint Rain Hand Dyed Yarns. I don't know if I said that, but she's right here in town with me. So we like to get together a lot and knit, and yeah, it's super fun. So we did that, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just went to work, and um, we've been, you know, making up kits for the shop and things like that. That's been fun, and just hanging out and enjoying, enjoying the weather. It's been so nice. So nice having the nice weather. I think I'm actually going to hurry up and um, maybe even before I edit this, I think I'm going to go for a walk with my dog and um, just kind of hang out, <laughs> you know, just enjoy the weather. I've got to work tomorrow. I usually have Tuesdays off, so that's throwing me off, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I've got to work tomorrow, um, but it's a closing shift, so I don't have to be there until 1230, which is nice. And then... Um, but then I've got Wednesday and Thursday off because, um, yeah, this is totally life news. I don't know why I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mention this, but it is um, me and Ethan's fifth wedding anniversary on the 3rd. So, yeah, so I took some time off for our anniversary and we're thinking of like going and seeing a movie, just taking a chill day. So very excited about that. And uh, I can't believe it's been five years. That is bananas to me that it's 
that it's been five years. Just time went, has so flown by. So yeah, so we're going to do that. And then, um, yeah, we're thinking of going to the, um, Birch Run movie theater for you Michigan people. Oh my gosh. They have reclining seats and it's awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> we pretty much decided when we went there last time that this is the only movie theater we're ever going to ever <laughs> is, I think it's, um, from Imagine, I think is the Imagine theaters is the, the brand. So if you have one nearby, go <laughs> run. <laughs> it's so awesome. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys this week. So I'm super, super stoked to go see Andrea Mowry. Really excited about that. Um, she just seems like the sweetest person ever. I've talked to her on Instagram a couple of times and she's just so sweet. So that's all I've got for you guys this week. And I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing fantastic. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.